Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about how to turn your QNAP NAS into a retro gaming behemoth. I am of course talking about how to install RetroArch on your QNAP NAS. Now there, you can install this on other NASs but I highly recommend QNAP NAS for this task for several reasons. First and foremost QNAP NASs have a larger range of HDMI enabled devices than any other NAS provider. Secondly, they have their popular HD Station application, which is a completely HDMI dedicated platform that is like the user interface of QNAP, but just for HDMI. And this lets you install the application in that repository or from that repository into HD Station or Hybrid S Station and let you output the this system this software along with many others over hdmi and what that means is your nas can still be used for all the other applications you're using it for surveillance backing up file management and more so this are the reason qnap is so good for this is because of that dedicated hdmi port and the software that supports it another cool feature is the fact that it supports lots of usb devices qnap arrived with several applications for running virtual environments virtualization station and of course linux station to name but a few and these softwares enable you to be able to create bespoke sandbox environments which is ideal for when you want to run custom roms and more now for those that aren't aware retroarch and i do recommend you google it after this is a kind of um it's an emulation program that is used to emulate all the different systems you can think of they are constantly adding new systems all the time and support of more and more roms which brings me on to the subject of roms throughout the course of this video i will of course be talking about emulation software and roms that is digital representations of archived games these are past games um, such as arcade games using the mame engine and of course there's snes mega drive playstation to name but a few that do stay legal you shouldn't be playing these games unless you either own the original copies of these games or they are classed as freeware and old systems that are no longer available but even that second rule is a little dicey so do be aware um, and do choose wisely where you choose to get hold of your roms now before i go any further i think it's very important and i've wasted enough of your time already to thank the guys over here at the QNAP NAS community forum and of course some of these key players over there because some of these guys the way they've been bringing these apps to your attention some of these homebrew applications is worthy of all of your respect and it's thanks to these guys that this video is possible they constantly update this copy of uh, retroarch to work with expanded and improving versions of hd station so the first thing you need to do is head to this link up here in order to get this emulator now i do recommend you go for the latest version down here but do double check that you get the right version for your system and you will need an hdmi enabled nas that features an intel based cpu so do bear that in mind for this video we're going to be using the ts251b which uses a dual core j3355 cpu and we've got the nas set up right here with all of the normal user credentials and more and we're accessing this via the network so do bear that in mind um, once you've clicked this file here it will automatically download and then head over to your QNAP NAS go into the app center I don't know if you can hear it in the background that's the QNAP NAS I've got a quite uh, a beefy 12 TB drive inside so it's making a little noise um, head over to here to this little plus icon go to browse head to where you've downloaded the folder in my case you would have downloaded a zip make sure you unzip it first and when you unzip it will be dot qpkg go to the bigger file of the two and click open and then install um, this will install this fold this uh, software onto your QNAP NAS and into the HD station application do bear in mind that I've already installed this app on here before and deleted it for the course of this video so don't be surprised if some options already seem like they've been done in advance the installation of this fold this file may take a wee while it's a few hundred meg so what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward to the full installation of this app as you can see on screen there installation is going pretty quick i don't know if you were keeping an eye on the clock there before i fast forwarded up to this point in the video but the application has then been installed 
So we exit out of there. And for those of you that panic and wonder where the app is on your desktop, remember this app has been installed in HD Station, so you won't find it here. In order to get to it, you will have to do one of two things. One, you'll have to attach an HDMI port to your QNAP NAS, and that will output the HD Station application and indeed the option amongst all the applications to load up RetroArch, which I'll show you off camera in just a moment. But another thing you can do if you want to take screen grabs and more, which is what I'm going to be doing for the NAS Compare article, is to head into the HD Station app, go into settings, and from here, you can remote access HD station. That means that this is what you will see on your HDMI monitor, which I'll be showing you in just a moment. And there is RetroArch right there. So we will be flicking over off camera, but apart from that, this is where you would tinker the HD station application and switch over to that camera to learn more. Almost forgot, I've probably got to tell you where exactly you have to put your ROMs because whichever um, provider you choose to download your games from your ROMs you're still gonna have to put them in a good folder in the case of this what I'm gonna do is I've created a folder inside the multimedia folder on this QNAP NAS and inside there I've created another folder called ROMs if you want to create a folder just right click and go to create folder and from here we click ROMs and in here we just deposit the ROMs as and when we play them and again, ignore these two files. You won't have these two files. This is when you start using the application in general. But here we've got Strider and for the arcade and Street Fighter 2 Red Edition. It's a ROM hack of the old Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. And again, because it's in a shared folder, do remember, because on RetroArch, I'm going to show you how to access the shared folder. But without further ado, let's make our way off camera to our HDMI monitor. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Here is RetroArch running on a QNAP NAS. Once again, the TS251B. Another interesting fact, of course, is I've, one of you handy YouTubers managed to send me this. And again, if it was you that sent this, please do let me know your name because you've sent this to me with the full address and a thank you note and you didn't tell me who you were. Um, it's an original Buffalo, that's the brand that do the NAS, a Buffalo SNES controller. And I'll be honest, I've been gagging to make this video ever since I received this controller. Um, but, long story short, here we have RetroArch and HD Station. Uh, at the moment, from what I can see, the most fluid way to do this, because the controller isn't recognised in HD Station, is that, so I've attached a wireless mouse, uh, keyboard and mouse and found the RetroArch app that we installed earlier, and I'm going to boot that app. Now again, for those that have used RetroArch before, um, you'll be very familiar with the user interface, but it's stylized on the PlayStation 3, and we've already got the ROMs that we popped on earlier, so we can navigate the options, and again, do check out other tutorials on RetroArch on how to set it up, and I will be doing more content on this very program soon. But, first thing we want to do is load up our core, so we're going to be going for an old MAME arcade game here, and again, this is a bootleg rip, and again, do look out where you find your ROMs and do try to stay as legal as possible. Although, of course, there are some ROMs that just no longer exist. So I'm going to load up main 2010 version. Then I'm going to load up content. Now, a little tip. For those of you out there that have put files on your QNAP NAS, such as what I've done, putting it in the multimedia folder, in order to get to those core directories on the QNAP NAS, you have to go to... Uh, just go to the download section here, you can go to any of them really, but if you go to download section, go to parent directory and make your way until you get to the main core storage. Then go into it, scroll down and look for share. Share is those shared folders that are pretty much the backbone of your QNAP NAS. Scroll down and then you've got all of those shared folders, in this case you've got the multimedia folder. Go into it, and there's our ROMs folder from earlier. And there is Street Fighter 2 Red Edition. That is the bootleg hacked version, the modified version of Street Fighter 2. So, without further ado, let's see if this works. It should work first time. And here we are, we've made our way in. Let's crack that volume up a little bit. And again, this is a, an emulation of an arcade on a QNAP now, so not even an expensive QNAP now, and I want you to think of the implications of building your own arcade cabinet. 
The idea that you could attach a screen to your QNAP now to a central location and as well as use it for surveillance, use it for backups and more and Plex, but also run an old style arcade machine. And remember, by pressing the middle two buttons, you can still make your way into the user interface and load SNES ROMs, Mega Drive ROMs and more. But just make sure you stay legal when getting hold of those ROMs. We're going to lower that volume down a little bit so you can hear me. And we're going to make our way in, add some credits, and then click Start. And again, remember, the QNAP NAS is still completely usable as a normal NAS throughout this. Now, do remember, this is the modified version of Street Fighter, so you are going to see some new stuff here. Make my way into it. As a kid, I remember getting a chance to play this rather fancy version of Street Fighter and just being astounded. But again, there are so many ROMs to choose from, but the software itself is still not foolproof. So do bear that in mind when choosing ROMs or games to play. But again, so that's Street Fighter 2. So what about if we load up another ROM? Let's see how stable this application is at the moment. So if we make our way back to that main menu, go back to load core, and again, make our way into that directory that we stuck our ROMs inside and play another ROM. This ROM, if we go into multimedia, in there, and remember, this is still the QNAP user interface behind this. You can still do everything you normally would. And this time we're gonna play a game called Strider. Let's see if this wants to play the game. And it's the arcade version of Strider. So we've got the credits, let's go into the game. And to me, it's looking like it's working like a charm. And again, I've turned the lights off for this video, so if it does appear a little bit dark, that's why, because of the glare on the screen. A little bit of slow down there, but the game itself is running beautifully. And again, I'm going to wrap things up here, because I've still got to do more videos to do with HD Station. But this has been how to turn your QNAP NAS into a fully functioning arcade cabinet. Thank you so much for the guys at QNAP Club, and of course the original encoder, that managed to put this all together. Well done, you guys are the best. Do go into the comments to find the links to this as well as the NC article. And don't forget to support this channel with a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed it. Because I don't use Patreon, I don't use PayPal, and the main reason I stay afloat is with your support. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Cheerio.